Yesterday, my wife saw this on Twitter, or ZX, whatever it's called today, and was like a video that was created with like a merger between Midjourney and something called Runway, and we were like, whoa, you can make the images move, and we were like, oh, that's pretty cool, right? So a few hours later from yesterday, then uh, I had created a few shots based on what we saw in, in that video. So I created these three shots here. Um, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to uh, create images with the mid journey and then make them move and create shorts like this or to create the video that was originally shared on Twitter. So remember to subscribe to our channel and uh, like the video and let's get this rocket in the air from a still image. So it starts on runwayml.com. We click try runway for free. So that's where I started yesterday. And then we I went in and I signed up with Google. You can sign up with Apple or enter your email address, whatever you want. And then we got in and I'm like, oh, cool. They have a free version. And I click like try for free. And it went into welcome to Gen 2. So that's the thing we need to click on when we get in there. I'm like start and I'm like, oh, I need this bird I made in mid journey. I need it to talk. So I put in the bird and then it's like processing and then it's finished. And then the bird is a little bit weird. And it has like these red circles down below in the right corner because it like there's a, a watermark on all the free images you create. So I did try a few times and then it got like a little bit more weird. Um, and then after around 10 images to videos, then it was like, oh, you don't have any more credits. You need to upgrade. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went in again. I'm like, okay, so uh, they have a standard plan. So it's like $12 per month. So the free one had 125 credits and the $12 one has 600. So I used the 125 credits in around five minutes. So that, and that gave me like 10 images. So uh, with 600, I would get like five times more. So that's 50 images to videos. I'm like, uh, no. And then there's like the pro plan. So like times four, so that's like 200. And uh, since yesterday, I, I <laughs> actually, I've made 750 uh, images to video. So that didn't really work for me. So I had to pick the unlimited plan in order to get anything out of this. And then, of course, I need to create a lot of images. So like it's worth paying this amount of money for it, of course. So let's start with uh, creating an image with mid journey and then animate it and show like how, it, how what the things look like, right? If you don't know how to use Midjourney, we have a, a vi video where we explain that in more detail. There's a link to the to the video in the description. So the thing in Midjourney is that we start with imagining something. So I asked it to imagine binary code, and then we put in something called an aspect ratio. So if I want to create short videos like I did, uh, want to do this time, then I put in aspect ratios, that's 916. If I want to make a YouTube video, it's like 169. And for Facebook, it's a different one. Then I have a thing called C100 that I add to my prompt. That's because I want the prompt to be a little bit more random. I have something called S750. That's the stylizing thing. So that means the higher that number is, the more details the images will have. But on it's compromising a little bit on uh, keeping to the subject. So if you have a long prompt and you ask it for stylized very high, at a very high number, then there's a high chance it will forget and not do what you ask it to do. And then I just put fast and stealth so people can see what I'm doing. Then we need to click on the upsize button. And when we do that on one of the images, then it comes out and looks like this. Then just for the sake of uh, testing different things and animating different images from mid journey, I clicked the zoom out to the zoom out 1.5. And then I tried to make a custom zoom uh, where I put in raining golden coins. So those three we're going to make. So if you look here, then I got uh, the images 
from that. So I have the zoom out 2x on the left. I got four images from that one. I have the zoom out 1.5x in the middle and I have the custom zoom to the right. So some of the images like these I have here, I put them in, I animated them and it looks a little bit weird. So we can look at it again. Um, but it, 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 it was it was a little bit weird what came out of that one. So like looking at it, it's like, hmm. So those are not good. And that's the same thing when you prompt things in mid journey, then you actually need to do quite a lot of prompting to get what you actually want. So it's the same with the animating. Some things animate better than other things. So when you have something like these, where you have like a round edge around them, they animate a lot better than the other ones. We can look at this one again. So I'll go back and and forward and as you see here like these look quite cooler uh, so it takes a little bit testing to find out like what is working what is not working so like the money one i had here uh, that i <laughs> made before and showed like so that one is not working if you have created like a small image in mid journey and now you want to animate it in in a bigger version you can click on something like a left arrow at the bottom uh, photoshop beta has like the same kind of fu <laughs> function it's called generative fill but I, I can click here and then i can make the image bigger until it has the size i want it to have so now i could use it for youtube videos that if that's what i wanted the only problem with this image is that even though i ran it through several times it just keeps being like a little bit weird in mid journey we can also zoom out like crazy so i tried taking the uh, image so it's the same image i've been working on all the the way here in this uh, explaining video tutorial whatever it is i'm doing you have to write what i'm doing in the description below and <clears throat> then i got like a uh, zoomed out a lot and <laughs> then i got this and uh, yeah that's gave some interesting results too so that's basically it so you just simply just go in mid journey you type something in in, in a prompt you uh, add something to it and then you can zoom and then you can animate it like i did here and then voila i created the three shorts so that was then short so subscribe to our channel don't get left behind and if you want to watch a video where i use these techniques to create some shorts using chat gpt mid journey and uh, runway there's a link to that video up here